Hello there. Once again, it's Anton from Anton Bay. Thank you for stopping by the collection room. <clears throat> this is October, um, which means, A, it's spooky season, which we all love. And being an election year, it means we're probably being inundated with a bunch of ridiculous political ads and it's driving us crazy. If any of those preceded this video, I apologize. I had no, I, I don't get paid for that. So anyway, here we are. We're taking a look at some AC comics. Um, this is Jungle Girls 13, 14, 15, and 16. And that is the it. That is it for this series. That is all I've got. We get some beautiful, we got a Gorby cover in here. A couple Gorby hikey covers. And probably some stuff from Mr. Bill Black as well. And if you like videos like this, uh, feel free to give me a like and a subscribe. I always appreciate that kind of thing. Let's take our end of this thing. So, if you've never seen any of these, they are a combination of vintage reprints and a few new stories. And they are black and white, which, you know, it'd be cool if they were color, but it is what it is. Uh, this is 1993. Uh, plot, script is Bill Black, layouts, the count, pencils, Mark Heike, inks, Chris Allen. And we got a nice big opening page there just with Tara and Sin and Vampire Queen of the Horror Kral. Corral. Corral. Corral? So this, you're definitely seeing the mod. This is like a modern story. Or not a 1940s story. And you can see that just in the art, in the style, in the shapes of the panels. It's boxed out very nicely. Um, with some more life and vibrance than you typically see in vintage reprints. A, even though I love vintage reprints, it is kind of a, a thing that... They are smaller panels, uh, less less fluid movement in the panels. I don't know. They're just a little bit more structured and smaller, I guess. The art isn't as big and flashy. You don't get near as many of these big uh, one-page shot things. Uh, there's an ad for Good Girl Art Quarterly, number 11. And Jungle Queen Irish McCalla at a book signing. That is so cool. Here we got Tiger Girl, and I stand corrected. There is a big splash page. It's a lot going on in there. And Tiger Girl actually does pretty good at their panels, giving us some more vibrant uh, shapes and movements to the panels, which I appreciate. But this is, this is a vintage story, so you don't see a lot of the real crazy panels like I like sometimes. Although, dang. It's, this book's trying to make a liar out of me. That's some crazy panels going on right there. Um, I think one of the biggest culprits of boring <clears throat> vintage panels... <clears throat> sorry. Would have to be... I hate to say it, but like EC Comics. Uh, the horror comics that are so uh, small and structured. And sometimes you'd have like 12 panels on a single page. And it's just... It's ridiculous. This has actually got a lot of movement in the panels, which I don't don't normally see in a lot of the vintage reprints I look at. And all of it's looking pretty good, though. Targonia. Jungle Girls, The Wild Side. And a lot of promo work there uh, for Irish McCalla, which is pretty cool. Jungle Girls, number 14, uh, Wild Side. I don't know if they were trying to change the name of the book. Um, this is definitely a modern story. Um... And definitely some crazy hair going on there. Uh, we've got pencils by Nick North, inks by Renee Magland, uh, Ray, Ray Aris, Mark Heike, Mike White. Wow, that's a lot of names I don't normally recognize from this book. And also, probably 93. Yeah, 93. Yeah, different art that I'm used to seeing. Some busy, some not. Some of the panels are like a lot of work got done on them. You can really tell. But all of them look quite good. I don't know what that was. Hmm. Anyway, it looks like these books always pretty much start off with your modern story. And then we delve into the... The vintage reprint stuff 
And I am not sure exactly who any of these women are. It's not the Femme Force. It's... I'm not sure what's going on here. It's interesting, though. And it's a little difficult. When it's black and white, I do probably see a lot more difference. Uh, well, I guess that's Nyoka, obviously. Tara. Okay, maybe I do know who these are. Just when you don't see their outfits and color, a lot of the difference between Jungle Girls is literally the color of their animal print. Uh, Princess Panther, that's an awesome opening page. Big, big one page deal going on there. And then, uh, then we drop into these very small panels. Very condensed, lots of words, which I don't know. It's just not always my favorite thing, even though I love vintage comics. Uh, sometimes to progress the story along, they, they they would pack a long story and really make it dense. And I don't know. I know they always got the complete story and they weren't trying to like run the book on forever, just telling a little bit of the story, Netflix style. But sometimes it feels like they try to pack a little bit too much into some of these things. But it's amazing how much beautiful little art these guys could put in these. How do you stab a rhinoceros through the throat with a stick? I don't even think that's possible. And an ad for Good Girl Art number 12. Wild Side 15. Just Sky Gal uh, number 1. Sky Gal, that's a good book. Uh, Wild Side number 15 or Jungle Girls. I think it's still the same Jungle Girl title. I just don't know why they changed the uh, name. And we're fighting a big squid on the front. I love, I love whenever they fight a big squid or an octopus. Looks like Gorby on the cover. Story and art by Nick Northey, inks by Florence and Renee Maglalang. Edits by Bill Black. Once again, I'm not, of all the AC comics I've gone through, I don't remember Florence and Renee Maglalang, Maglalang, or whatever that name is. Uh, haven't come across those before. That's new to me. But it looks like we got some big, cool, cool panels. Yeah, they have a, they, they certainly like their weird 80s hair in this particular book. Yeah, not sure what's going on with that one. That, that is an awesome opening page. The Talons of the Leopard Queen, art by Artie Saff. She's wearing the little leopard gauntlets and everything. That's some pretty neat looking stuff. Man, we're not gonna kill another rhino, are we? Man, that's the second issue in a row where you gotta like stab a rhino to death. You guys know these are endangered, right? I think this is her fault. Um, you know what, I changed my mind. I don't like the gloves. I'm against it. They just look bad. They look bad in, in practice there. Tangi. Art by Jack Common. Kamen. Once again, we don't get a full open page, but we do cross the lines. And once again, we're crossing the lines all over in here. You can see she's stepping out of one panel and into the next. And that's cool. That's good. It's good to cross over those lines. It gives it uh, almost like there isn't lines. Like, you don't need those lines. If you're going to just walk over them anyway, they don't technically need to be there. But it works, and it makes it flow really cool. And I like that. And holy cow. Here's what we're talking about. Tanda. There are so many Jungle Girls. Like, I can't even remember them all. But uh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at all the page words there. Like... Uh, you're relying too... Oh my goodness. You're you're going way too heavy on one art form and not heavy enough on the other art form. That is too much words, guys. Too many words, guys. Oh, oh it's been a long day. Beware of those. Um, I'm taking that's a, a play on the ants that we just saw. We got Tara, Nyoka, a cave girl going on in this issue. Another uh, Gorby from Black Heike. 
I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it means all three of them did something on that cover. Looks like we're still in 1993, Amera Comics, Sandwich, which is a great name for this. I love this opening title. It looks like we're still running around with Tiger Girl, Tara, Nyoka, and uh, one other girl that I can't identify. Tigra. I didn't see who the artist was. I have a feeling it's our... No, Art and Story by Nick Northey. Yeah, it looks like he's got all of it to this, this, this time. We got crazy Egyptian goddess lady with little guys following her around. Oh, those are cool panels. Those are, oh, that's an awesome page, actually. Just all that going on. Star-shaped panels and everybody's just hanging out of them. Perfect. And they're about to wring her pants. It looks like they punched her into oblivion. Tigra and the slaves of Babylon. At least we're not overly wordy. Some of those were. This one's still staying cool, still staying uh, pretty light as far as that goes. I mean, we are killing, looks like Assyrians here. We got another Tangi story, who I am not familiar with Tangi or Tangi. Tangi. Uh, normally it's animal print. She is, seems to wear uh, flower prints. Not the most Jungle Girl of Jungle Girl outfits, but it works, I guess. Hmm. Cheryl, uh, the Jungle Girl. This one I am not familiar with at all. Uh, most of these I have at least heard of. This one looks to be more of a parody. Definitely, but never heard of her. Yeah, almost caricaturish in some ways. But definitely a parody and a little fun story there. Tarinda. Yeah, the sheer number of old comic book characters that you've never heard of, uh, you would probably be amazed at what you don't know. Uh, I know I am, and every time I find like old reprints or uh, stuff like that, I'm like, wow, I've never heard of that hero in my life. And yet, there they are. Anyway, that is my story. That's my comics this week. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like and subscribe. I appreciate it. It keeps me motivated. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.